All right, so let's put your basic math skills to the test and see if you can solve this problem without using a calculator. All right, so the actual problem is parentheses, one over two or one half, plus five over three parentheses times parentheses three over four minus two parentheses. All right, so once again, no calculators, but uh, we do have a multiple choice question here. And let's take a look at our answers. So A is negative 65 over 24, B is 19, C is 1 fourth, and D is negative 13 over seven. All right, so once again, no calculators, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct solution in just one second, then of course I'm gonna walk through all the steps we need to take to figure this out. All right, so once again, parentheses, we have to add these fractions. I guess I get, I'm giving you a little bit of a hint here. So we have to add these fractions, one half plus five thirds, and then we have to multiply by this. Of course, we have uh, three fourths minus two. All right, so let's take a look at the correct solution. The right answer here is A, negative 65 over 24. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a heavy face and an A+. Plus, and you'd be like, uh, Mr. U2 Math Man, I thought this problem was easy. What's going on? I got the wrong answer. Well, we're talking about uh, basic math, but uh, basic math is not so simple. In other words, there's a lot to know here, and uh, I'm going to be uh, talking about how to add fractions, multiply fractions, and subtract fractions. All very important stuff. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get started right now. Okay, so uh, when you're adding and subtracting fractions, again, we're gonna have to add fractions here and subtract fractions here. When you um, uh, add and subtract fractions, what gives most students kind of nightmares, they're just like, they're just like, don't like to work with fractions, is you have to think about the LCD, right? The lowest common denominator. So when we're adding and subtracting fractions, we have to make sure that the denominators of those fractions are the same. If they are not, we have to find the LCD, and we got to go through all this kind of uh, rigmarole to fix up the fractions such that we can add or subtract them. Hopefully that makes sense to you, but there is a great uh, little shortcut, uh, great hack, and one of my uh, more popular videos on my YouTube channel is, uh, I think it's titled The Best Fraction Hack Ever, and this is one thing you can do to add or subtract fractions uh, when you don't want to find the LCD. Okay, so you definitely need to know this. I'm going to do this here. I'm also going to find the LCD. Uh, I'm going to do this problem again with the LCD, but here's what you can do. So let's focus on this uh, problem uh, first, one-half plus five-thirds. So uh, this hack is called the bow tie method, okay? So the way it works is this. It's going to look like a bow tie if someone's wearing a bow tie. It looks like so, right? A little crazy bow tie like that. But here's how it works. You're going to take this fraction, this denominator, from the bottom right, It's ex this exact pattern, and you're going to go this way. So it's going to be 3 times 1. It's going to be multiplication. So 3 times 1 is 3. So this is an addition problem. So you're going to put plus, and then it's going to be 2 times 5. This is the next step. Okay, It has to be in this precise order. So 2 times 5 is 10. So this is the numerator of our answer. So 3 plus three times 1 is 3, plus 2 times 5 is 10, over, uh, you uh, multiply this way, 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, and of course, we can simplify that down to 3 uh, plus uh, 10 is 13 over 6. I'm going to show you how we can... Uh, find the LCD and fix these fractions up. So if you got 13 over 6 and you use the LCD method, that's perfectly fine. But I'm just showing you an alternative technique uh, to add and subtract fractions, one that you absolutely need to know. Okay, so uh, we're just going to take um, these problems one at a time. So now we're going to go ahead and deal with this fraction right, or this problem right here, 3 fourths minus 2. So some of you might be saying, well, this is a whole number, you know, it's not a fraction. Well, you can make any number look like a fraction by just putting it over one, okay? So if you're like, oh, okay, this is much easier. Of course, if I would have wrote this this way, uh, it would have been, you know, a little bit easier to interpret, but you should know that anyways. Uh, you can make any number like, like seven uh, into a fraction or think of it as a fraction by just putting it over one. Okay, so let's go ahead and deal with this. Of course, we already figured out this first... Uh, 
addition problem. That's 13 over 6. So now we have 3 fourths minus 2 over 1. And let's use that same technique, that bow tie uh, technique. So this is going to be 1 times 3. Again, bottom right to the top left. So that's 3. Now this is a subtraction problem. Again, they we're forming our numerator. And so we're going to put a subtraction operator right there, or a difference operator. And this is going to be 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, we, now here, this is going to form a negative number, but let's go ahead and finish up with our denominator. 4 times 1 is 4. So being very careful here, 3 minus 8 is not 5. That is a negative 5. This is the same thing as 3 plus a negative 8. Negative 5 over 4. Okay, so we have our two parentheses part of this problem done. We added and subtracted these respective fraction problems. So now we need to talk about how to multiply fractions, which is super easy. It's probably the easiest thing to do in math. When you're multiplying fractions, you simple, uh, simply uh, multiply the respective numerators. So in this case, this is 13 times negative 5. That'll be the numerator of our answer over the respective denominator 6 times 4. So let's go ahead and just do this basic math. So 13 times 5 is 65, but of course this is a positive times a negative, so our final answer will be negative. Uh, that would be negative 65 over 24. And by the way, just as a little technical thing, a lot of students confuse is negative 65 over 24. Is that equal to negative 65 over 24? Can I write my answer this way? Or what if I had 65 over negative 24? These are all equivalent. You can actually write your final answer this way. Just remember, a negative divided by positive, this entire value, this fraction, is negative. So technically, this would be like the nicest way to write this. But if you gave me your answer like this with this negative 65, that's perfectly fine. But I just wanted to uh, state that because this question comes up. So if you ever well, wondered about that, there is your answer. Okay, so let's take a look at this problem using uh, uh, the LCD to... Um, work with these fractions. So here I have one half plus uh, five thirds. I'm like, okay, two and three, these are not the same denominator. So I have to find the LCD. The LCD is six. Now how you calculate the LCD, um, again, I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel and in my pre-algebra uh, course, uh, you'll learn all about that in my Math Foundations course as well. But the LCD is in fact six. So I'm gonna have to rewrite each of these fractions uh, such that the denominator is 6. So I'd multiply this by 3, this by 3, because 3 times 2 is 6. And then i got to multiply this 3 by 2 to make a 6. Multiply that by 2. So what are we going to get? We're going to get 3 over 6, and this would be 10 over 6. Now I have the same denominator. Okay, You can only add uh, or subtract um, fractions when the denominators are exactly the same, i.e. they have the exact same number in common. So here I have 3 plus 10, let me just scroll down here, is 13 over 6. And hopefully that looks familiar. It's the exact same value that we came up last time. And then over here, in this fraction, we have 3 over 4 over 2 over 1. These are not the common denominators, but the LCD of this fraction is 4. So I just multiply that by 4, this by 4, and we have 8 over 4. And you can see here, when you um, when we have the same denominator, we simply subtract the numerator. So 3 minus 8, be nice and careful, that's negative 5 fourths. And guess what? It turns out to be the same thing because now we're just simply multiplying these same fractions and we're going to get the same answer, negative 65 over 24. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, Check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you wanna review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm gonna leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.